All right, I might try and get the status uh, menu kind of roughed in place, a little outline of it, see what we can get done. I just did that long equipment menu and the formation settings. Uh, you know, I don't know how much how much uh, stamina I have left for this, but we'll see what we can do. And so options I need to enable. Oh, not config. Wrong one. Status. <laughs> and maybe we could name these while we're at it, just so I can find them a bit more easily. Only takes a second. A bit more than a second, but you know what I mean. Alright, so we have status enabled. <coughs> status window, let's pull up our references. Later in downloads, we go to. Looks like I had other references too. No, maybe not. Let me put that battle in there. Alright, status, uh, so that's magic, config. Here we go. So that's one example. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty good. So this is from FF4. So it looks like they have extra stats. I don't know if I care about all this for, for what I'm making. So let me try and find a different example. Here we go. Simple. Strength, agility, intellect, stamina, luck, attack. That might be the way to go. You have... So stamina is like your, your defense, I think. And then... So defense is your equipment plus stamina, maybe. I'm not sure exactly. I think we'll we'll copy something like this. So I have to do a screenshot. I also have to get my coffee. So I'm gonna give me ten seconds, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, fresh coffee. That's uh, kind of cool. Uh, do, 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 do. This is FF2. I know because I'm currently playing it right now. And it's pretty cool. They have this different skill level system. Where you don't have normal levels, you just have... Like everything levels up based on what you use, which is kind of cool. Anyway, we're looking for status menus. Let's see what they did in the remasters. God, I mean, it's just soulless. Absolutely soulless. I can't stand what they do with this. And the spacing makes no sense. This should not be that wide, right? They should do what I'm doing. Put black bars on the side. Come on, people. Or find a way to stretch that data. I know they gave an option, I think, for pixel text. But still, this, um, this doesn't do anything for me. Except hurt. All right, so we have that. Let's see what we're looking at. Let's look at um seven. It's uh I'm pretty partial to that because I, I grew up with it. So here's the what well, enemy skill menu, party menu, items menu, 
That's interesting. So they have, I, I forgot about that. They put the party on the left side instead of doing a two column uh, menu for the items. Here's the status for there. Oh shit, sorry, pardon my language. I just uh, almost spilled my coffee all over myself. I try not to curse, I wanna keep it, you know, PG. Uh, check out FF9. Like FF9 did a lot of cool stuff. That's pretty effective, but it doesn't really uh, get me excited. FF6, I think, is the one that I usually go back to. There's their, their status. So if that status were the stats, you put it on two, two screens there, that's kind of silly, I think. I like the old style. I like that a lot. So we would have our menu card up top, XP, XP to next, and then we have a grid container for stats. And, and then I think I'd replace this with equipment. We'd have like equipment all the way at the top, and then just do a big grid container. I think that's what we're gonna we're gonna roll with for now at least. So we'll grab that. Let's just look at that real quick. Now I think this is what the GBA port. Yeah, this looks like a GBA icon. Okay. So I think it's kind of cool that we're we're not looking at just one Final Fantasy game. We're we're taking reference from all over the place. Uh, so let's throw these in the you know, downloads. Thought it would load, but maybe not. Just drag these in there. All right, so we want this one open. <clears throat> like this. And I'll take a quick look. But what's kind of cool... As you can see, after status, I mean, we still have to make magic functional. But after that, we just have the config, the settings menu, rather, and, um, and saving. And gold time location. So uh, we're about halfway done with this field menu, which is taking up a pretty substantial amount of time. <coughs> but that's to be expected. So... Status menu, I'm going to take our equipment menu, we open this thing up, take a look. I think this is going to be the closest, so I'm going to duplicate that, submenu, status, close equipment menu, open up status, close cursor, we don't need that, I said like cursor. <laughs> oh man, submenu status. We want to get that bad boy in here and hide it. Okay. We also want to get rid of that. We're going to extend field submenu, I think we called it, right? Yeah. Use submenu equipment for submenu status. Yeah. I don't think we're doing class names on these. So, before we do the script, let's get the layout right. We actually don't need the top menu. Well, we need the top, but we don't need the menu. I might leave it there, just hide it. And we need to make sure this is not going giant. We can also hide the cursor. So menu name, let's check out the size flags. Um, that looks good, min size 64. Fill vertical, but we do want um, shrink end and expand on the, whatchamacallit. 
what should we call it? It's equipment. The um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> oh man. So you can see they have one big window. Maybe I'll try that. I'm not against it. Uh, we don't need description. We don't need stats. I might hide description in case we want to, like, for example, let the player move through here and hover over the stats and then print out what that stat does. So I will leave it. Stats can go. We don't need that window. Items. This whole middle. Just get rid of that. Poker the Monkey 18 is playing Factorio. That's my buddy. My buddy from, uh, I mean, we've been friends like 30 years. Crazy. Absolutely nuts. Makes me feel old saying that. Anyway. Options we don't need, so we keep that. Yeah, that's good. We can close top now. Player, we're not going to put it in a window, right? <coughs> so we just want like in this V box that margin container, we're going to put it above description and it's this window player. That we're actually going to put like this. And what I'm going to do is put that outside. We're going to do it like they have. We have an H box. We don't need this crap. And really, this needs to be a V box now. And what's this? For V box. Um, you know what? I think for now we're just gonna get. Oops. <laughs> This is fine. Just get rid of options. Let's get rid of description. I changed my mind on that. We're, we can always add it back in. For now, I just want, want to keep this clean. So we have that. Um, like main. <clears throat> Okay, player. Now we can actually <laughs> get this going. All right. Uh, so we want wrong. Um, we want this to fill like that. And so that's filling, right? That's what we did. And constants. I just bump it in a bit. And we'll go from there. Definitely works better in that top right corner. As you can see all the dead space here. Uh, maybe it works better this way for other menus, but I don't know. So... That's the back. <clears throat> Here's our B box. This is where we add our data. So we're going to need a grid container. And I think we're, we're not going to modify the original stats window.
This might be a status when um, I do stats. Let's call it like all stats window. Full, full stats window. Is that that's telling us it's going to have all of our stats, not just the ones that are modified. So we'll have things like XP and level and all that. <clears throat> so the setup here. Um. Again, I'm probably just going to hard code it by typing these in manually. Change that. It's going to be an H box with. I'm going to change the station. It's distracting me. Can't stand when the radio is like the DJ just talking on and on. It's so, so distracting and annoying. All right. With the top card. So maybe equipment we put over here. I do need to update that text. Just it's a little bit too big. That's wrong. We want to change this. That's better. So we're gonna need equipment. Can I pull from the equipment menu? Is my question. Like maybe. Maybe we would just want to copy that. So this whole thing. Or do I want to do a custom one? Let's take a look at that. Nah, I don't feel like copying it. Not right now. Back to this view. Bear with me. It's just kind of like planning this out is a little tricky. The box, H box. <clears throat> Yes. We give it two labels. So we like um, speed. Just call it stat. And right. 
<coughs> the rectum inside of that. And I want it to be aligned right. This will be um, main value. I'll make this a scene. It's that H box. Get rid of equipment. Give it a theme. <clears throat> Top left. Let's give it like sixty four. Value needs to expand out like that. That should give us enough room for all of our stats. Give us a script. Then we want to do, so we have two of these. We, um, Don't want that to fill. <clears throat> Let's do this H box. And B box. Bear with me. Oh, change that. I get a grid container. I can feel I'm a bit mellow right now, maybe a little bit too mellow. Okay. So grid container, <laughs> stat H box. We're gonna get a bunch of these. Um, and make it two columns. We'll mess with the uh, horizontal. 32. Um, this might need a little bit more. Try 80. That looks about right. Um, so do that. And I only need about that many. B separations off do three or two do three. This we want size flag uh, vertical expand shrink end. No. What we'll do instead is we're going to center this. And ultimately, we need to figure out like how to populate this data better. <clears throat> Do that. Equipment. Stats. See, we could, we have so much space, we really could have the description and the top menu and let the player um, move across the stats here. So let's get that thing back. It's, we're going to go to equipment menu. I'm going to copy this description. Uh, let me go full screen for a sec. Get rid of that. I think it goes in this. I just want to make sure it's going to the end. Perfect. And I'm just going to 
delete that. And <clears throat> make the button the scene root. Give it the theme. This doesn't need to hold that theme anymore. Or no, uh, uh, no, not doing that. Because <laughs> we only need to know if it's focused. We don't need. We're not treating these like buttons. We just need focus so that I can check when we focus on each of these, and we can print out what that stat does. So we need equipment. <clears throat> Which maybe I do just want to copy <laughs> this thing. need that. Uh, do I want to instance that? I think so. We're going to do that. Let's call it um, higher equipment window. We're going to save branch of scene. Now this is going to mess up or rather, we have to update, I think, how we access these things. What we can also do is give this a script now. And now, instead of getting this directly, which are we even using that. So equipment, Let's see where we're using this. That's just to be match case and whole words. So we get the buttons. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll make some custom functionality. Instead of this, we're going to do home ready bar player equipment window player equals player equipment window. Oh, that's not it. Do that. <clears throat> We're going to do uh, it does need access to that, so we're going to get get equipment menu. Let's make that. I'm going to return a menu. And if we open this up, it's going to be already bar. Equipment, equipped. It's called equipment. Oh no. Let's change the name of that. <coughs> uh, call this um, slots, equipment. Also gonna need a reference to the player info card, player menu card. Rather. Okay, so we're gonna return equipment. And this one we get player, just call it player card. Let's 
So now where we're calling equipment, we really want to do this. Let's see, update equipment button. These should be built into the equipment window. I feel like since we have that in, hmm. Data equipment buttons. Yeah, this stuff needs to go in here. <clears throat> we just want to send player through. Fine, update equipment button player. Buttons player menu card. That looks good. <coughs> now the difference will be that we're adding this. So they're handling that functionality. I'm gonna copy that. We go down here. Uh, it's gonna need player and slot the equipment button this one we put oops here we're going to send through the player that we put this in front Do the same thing here and i'm not 100 percent sure but i think that's all the changes we need for this to work So player menu card, we want to do we don't want you to grab that. It's gonna be dot um set player. Sure, we'll keep it the same. Why don't we store that? So we set we set the player there. Yeah, we might as well keep it here. Then we can get rid of this crap. Uh, set player, player equals player. I think by default we want this to be data dot party zero. I don't care about the index of it right now. Go back here. Looks like I broke something in here. Get rid of that. And we're gonna have to remove player from these. And one more. There we go. <coughs> we're ready to test that before we go to status. Okay, connect node. 
Top menu is null. This is on the f full screen GUI field sub menu set options. I must have changed the name. Or is it loading this? Yeah, I think it's on this one. So function ready. No, we don't have a top menu. Or do we? We have a top menu here. I have to give that a menu. We're going to call this um, stats. And we want to grab reference to it. <clears throat> we'll set top menu. Anything else I have to do here? Set description. Do what to call that. That's going to be this. Might have been the same, but that's all right. Snip button one nil. So the button is nil. Cause, oh, because this is not a button. It's not going to work if it's not a button. Why don't we do this? Button control. Do. So we need to. If button is base button. Why don't we do that? So if it's a, a true button, we'll do that. This should work, maybe. Connect a node on base nil. <coughs> Set top menu. Options. Set menu status. Is it in this one it's broken? Field sub menu. This has to be a path, because now we're not always going to have an options menu. I really should have just kept them in there and turned them off. Set that. If menu. So we do that, we override top menu here, because it's the only one we've done so far that doesn't have um, that top options menu. Button.get index. Okay, so this now has to be a control. Oh man, I have to update all of these. That Then I'm going to have to update all of my functions. So we're going to change this back. That's just not not what we want to do. This stat H box does need to turn into a button now. Just so it works with our menus. 
paste button. Guess that works. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. I mean, it looks okay so far. We have to update that. Okay. Come on now. Uh, we did turn off the cursor, so I need that back on. Uh, we're going to need a function, function on. Um, That's button focused. We want to do actually, it's going to specifically be a stat H box and do a cursor. No. We want to update description. So description from. Um, no, we're gonna to have to manually do that. We'll fill that in in a sec. So the cursor's on. We're moving it now. <clears throat> Status. All right, cool. We can move around. I can back out. That works. All right, that's progress right there. Uh, Darius, that's a great name. Cursor. I want to get it in its show position. What's going on there? Um. What? Why can't I move this? Is it locked? <laughs> what? Let me try reloading. It seems a little janky right now. There we go. That's all I want. And we also can swap out the player menu card for a um, player equipment window, which should fit right in there. We just want it at the top. See how nice that is? This is totally reusable now. And so this needs a reference to that. that this is where I have to take out this behavior <clears throat> I think we actually want to put that into the equipment window. So for now, I'm going to cut all of this and put it in there. Then we have to modify the things that don't make sense out of here. So maybe this will hold the player index. That's window, player equipment window. So you can set player by doing that. Don't need that. Um, I'm going to just paste that so I have it. We want um, signal. Oops, sorry. Signal. Player changed. We'll do player and player index. We'll just index on that. We 
do all that, we emit the signal. Be down here. Player changed. Player and player index. We take this. <coughs> That's going to go back into equipment. It's going to be on that signal. I'll actually put it at the very top for signals. It's going to be on player equipment. Do that. There's going to be um, now. I think we do need this reference still. Right, we do. <clears throat> do we need player index? Nope. Player's going to be that. This is going to be changed to on ready bar. And we're just going to grab um, from this dot player. Let's call it get player to be safe. And our equipment window. Do that at the bottom. Let's go make that function. Set player. Get player. if I need that function now. Update equipment buttons. So you're doing the player menu card. I actually need equipment. Nope. Put that in there. That's window, available equipment, beautiful, it's up here, it's not used, what do you mean we're not using, oh it's shadowing an already defined variable, where, oh line 28, Do this. We call it actor. Now we have unused index. Okay, get rid of it. Cool. Make sure our equipment works. Nope, broken. It's a broken. <laughs> um, options button pressed. We do sub menu dot button focus. Why is that not working? Oops. 
we have to the I change the name here. It's now called equipment. And I don't think I ever connected that signal. <coughs> there uh, we can so the rotation is not working player change player player index okay now So that is going player change, player, player index. We're connecting it, player equipment window, player change, we send actor and index. Player menu card. Also need to update equipment buttons. But how's it not receiving that? What? Okay, we'll do it manually through the um, editor. Not on status, we're on equipment window right now. Not equipment window, um, equipment sub menu. Now it's definitely connected. What in the hell? Are these not right? They're the right types. Try reload. What the frig?
How? Why does this not work? Actor and integer. Actor and integer. Basically, we're just throwing that in. It says true. It's saying, hey, it's connected. So why are we not getting that? For sure. We're just not getting down to there? What the hell's going on? What? Freak. What the hell? It shouldn't be the issue. But just in case, just in case it's an issue with that, we want to do there. Let's just see what the hell happens there. All right, it's running now. I don't know what the heck it was, but it's working now without any arguments. Go figure. thought it was ridiculous what in the f Guys, I, I really, um, I'm at a loss. There's no reason for that to not be working. Oh my God, what? It works on status? It, dude, have I been looking at the wrong... There's equipment. What? <laughs> what? Oh. Wait. <laughs> no, because it consumes that input, so only one of those is going to grab that. It's maybe not what we want. I was 
doesn't work on equipment. Works on status. The status is consuming it. That's why. <laughs> oh, man. What a dumb ass mistake. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh my lord. Lord help me. So set enabled. Oh jeez. Oh jeez the beast. If on stats window set player player equipment update. They'll already be doing that. I don't know if they really need that. <clears throat> I think we can get rid of this code. That part. We're going to copy this for the status window. Yeah. All right, now we're talking. Go to equipment. Or we're not talking. I was full of SHIT. Go. <laughs> what? Oh, see, so watch now it'll work because I exited out of status, right? Yeah. Alright. Sub menu. Um, Back here, let's update this. I don't know if we need that right now. Update equipment buttons. Hmm. Just call that when we get enabled. Get rid of this. Now we're talking. Let's make sure these save again. Nice. I think that's okay if it saves, like it stays in that position. I don't think that's a problem. <clears throat> Go back to status. Losing focus. Let's close out some of this crap. Let's uh, close other tabs for now. 
So we set enabled. It should automatically be focusing on our top menu. something that's uh, stealing focus here it's this focus I feel like it's already taken off though it could be this That's it. That's, that was taking our focus, I believe. Um, equipment is the menu, so it's automatically not grabbing focus. So we go back here. I press up. We're not losing focus. Everything looks good. That's why I figured we need a pressed. We just do nothing. pretty I think we're pretty much done with that for now status we want we have this organized could make these windows I kind of like the separation that they provide the alternative is you can throw in an H separator Fix our, uh, whatchamacallit, our separation. I'll probably change it back to Windows for now, but this is all right. So stat, let's get this lined up again. Stats, what do we have? What order are we going in? Need to look up Battle Actor. <clears throat> Again, I think I might just hard code it. So we're going to have look at our reference. They do XP at the top left. to begin just like manually position that and stats um, the V separation I think we just decrease it by that <coughs> we also probably have too much of this and then we can give V separation back that looks better just bring this down here. Um, my stat beach box. 
<clears throat> Get rid of that. Line left. Now I can change it through here. I call this stat name the default. The override, so that's going to be strength. I should probably put those at the top anyway. Um, speed, intellect, 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 and luck. So we keep the same formatting that we have for our equipment menu, so it's it's consistent. I'm gonna update it over here. So we're now doing. Um, Speed is down there, and we just have to update it in here. We'll get to modifying the HBox soon. We're done with that guy. Now I have to do the left side, so we're going to have... What order do I want? <clears throat> Probably XP to next. Um, XP to uh, maybe we'll have some fun stats like like we count how many times they've attacked. I don't know. That's kind of useless. Alternatively. We did that. Now they still have focus ability. Just don't really have anything to put over there. Maybe we do this. Attack our defense. And this. Um. <clears throat> We don't need XP. Change that to magic. And but we're gonna swap that. It's defense in the bottom. Magic power at the top. Is defense. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Physical power, physical defense, magic power, magic defense. I like that. Do we want to update strength, defense, speed, intellect, locked? I think that's fine. Hmm. 
We'll keep this to attack power. And this should be like um, resilience. <coughs> so resilience will be shoot. Maybe this, these two will be like the base value for all of your attacks and, and defenses from attacks based on the type. And these will all impact that. But maybe speed and luck are a little bit different. So that's window does need the text updated on this. Of course, it pushes it over now. Does that mess up my? No, looks fine. Do need to fix that spacing. That one's good. Done with that for now. Now we're going to make an enumerator in here. Just going to copy all of these in the order. So it's attack, power, strength, physical defense. Um, resilience, magic power, intellect, magic defense. Sorry, we have speed over here. Maybe intellect goes above speed. Luck's kind of dumb. I don't believe in luck. We're changing this. So it'll be intellect, magic, defense, spirit. Do have anything else? XP to next. Then the speed. Speed to next. Change these around. Let's speed. Intellect. Spirit. So that's nice because now these these align, except for speed, which doesn't impact anything other than your uh, turn order. So I think that's good. Need to update a few things now. We have the stats window. Gonna update that again. Resilience. Intellect. This becomes spirit. Gonna update this enumerator again. it in order. Update these. Drag 
create those. Battle actor. Place all of calls of defense with resilience. Get rid of speed at the top. <clears throat> now we need to update these when we change the player. So we have this reference. We want to do that connection. I'm just going to copy this. What's wrong in here now? Is that's window broken? This also needs to be resilience. <laughs> yeah, just swap this out. Cool. That should be fixed. So with that, we want to send that down to the stats menu, or we can just loop through it. So it'll be um, for I in range get stats that get buttons count. We're going to do floor um, that H box that equals stats I. So I need I. Change that new four. Sets that. Can we just send through the player? Four player. <clears throat> so 
your function sets that. So we use our index to determine which one of these we get. This is not going to be pretty. <laughs> Actually, let's just copy all of this. Do that. Let me watch. We do this. Pass. It's really not going to be that bad. Do I need that? Yeah, because we need to use this to get the, the appropriate stat. This is going to be player. I call it from player. I forgot one here. I think we just set our text, text equal string. Um, yeah, text equal string, player dot attack power. Stuff like that. Actually, it's Make it a little pretty. Um, what we want to do, watch this. I'll copy that. We're going to do Control R, paste that in, and boom. Then I just have to fix this one. That's all updated set value. It just looks a little bit nicer, I think. <coughs> that just converts it to a string. Now we need these variables that we just made. And say what? Move these to the end. Um, so I need this right now. I don't really know where I'm using that. Might be using it outside of this.
Let's find that these are a dictionary. You know, if I made them into a dictionary, for stuff like this, we could easily just reference the enumerator to match it up. But we already did this, so it's not a big deal. Um. everything to get it to print we're not updating them apparently let's do this set player that way that gets called and in there That's probably going to be in here too. All right, so that still works. This is correct because we haven't facilitated entering that data. And we're probably going to end up making a spreadsheet because we just have so many stats at this point. Now, these are not updating. It does update when I call that. it in the equipment window so I don't know why oh it happens before um, that's connected we're going to yield a frame so now that status window should be updated. Yeah, cool. Now we want to print out what these things mean. And that'll pretty much complete the status window. I mean, obviously, like all these things, it, the status window doesn't care. It's just grabbing those values. So we need to implement them for this to have any real meaning, right? So I'm gonna make, I make an array of descriptions. Which is in um, stat age box. Descriptions, right, what's that? Right? Yeah, I think we want it in here. 
That should be capital. Constant. And then we just go down. It's going to be... Um, Base power for physical attacks. Um, strength. Base. Increases attack power. <coughs> attack defense uh, reduces physical attacks. Increases. Intensity determines how can I make this without redundancy? These are kind of redundant. Um, base reduction. <clears throat> and we finish with, um, Speed which determines now we can access these in here the stats button focused.
Oops. Stats menu. Well, that's only H box. So it would actually be button dot get description. We don't need stats, we just want that. I think it'll just be like self dot get index. Need it to the next level. Base reduction of incoming determine strength and magical abilities. Let's change that to like base. some equipping back out cool it does update stats update appropriately so let's get our notes open not seeing my notes did I put them in I think I have to do this Status window done. Moving equipment already did that. Nice. Done. Finish implementing all of the new stats, including um, updating heal hurt and ETC functions that rely on old ones. Really need that. That's probably priority one. After we get stats. So we do that, then we want to roll stats based on character job. E.g. Um, data can commit players with a job and the stats. <clears throat> Players can ignore the standard commit. This is the job we'll, we'll handle those. Inventory item icons, that'll be a good one. Finishing shop character based on job. Yeah. Good. Anything else I need to change? I don't think so. We'll do low priority uh, or maybe use windows to separate areas of status. So that I mean, that's kind of hard to read, but I know what it is. All right, that's done. That's done. It's a good game. So, 
magic. Is that on my notes? <laughs> uh, it's probably a pretty high priority. Yeah, let's put magic down here. So that's the next menu we need. Honestly, it shouldn't be too bad because they're basically like items. On fig, I don't really need. That's more of um, a late stage thing where you can add um, button remapping and things like that, accessibility features and etc. Saving, updating gold time and location. All right, people, I think that's all for today. Good luck making your game. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you next time.